Freddie Prince Jr., a name synonymous with the heartthrob era of the 90s and early 2000s, is making waves once again with news of his impending return to the big screen. For fans who grew up watching his movies or followed his meteoric rise in Hollywood, this news feels like a nostalgic embrace. The now 48-year-old actor, who is happily married to fellow 90s superstar Sarah Michelle Gellageller, is set to reprise his role in a beloved film franchise that became a pop culture phenomenon and even brought the couple together more than two decades ago. Can you guess which one? If your mind immediately flashes to iconic slasher scenes, teen thrillers, and summer nights filled with suspense, then you've hit the nail on the head. That's right, Freddie Prinze Jr. is rumored to return in a brand new installment of the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise. For those who were glued to their screens in the late 90s, watching a group of teens try to outsmart a vengeful killer, this news has stirred up deep feelings of excitement and nostalgia. Although Freddy has been relatively absent from the Hollywood spotlight in recent years, his earlier career was nothing short of legendary. He was the quintessential leading man of his generation, starring in films that captured the spirit of young love, adventure, and terror. Whether it was his heart-melting role in the teen romance She's All That, his comedic charm in Down to You, or his goofy yet lovable portrayal of Fred Jones in the live-action Scooby-Doo films, Freddy was at the top of his game. His career spanned everything from rom-coms to action-packed thrillers, making him a versatile and adored actor. And who could forget his guest appearance in one of the most iconic sitcoms of all time, Friends, where he played Sandy, the sensitive male babysitter who had all the moms swooning? The news of his return to the screen has been confirmed by Deadline, putting an end to months of speculation and rumors about whether Freddie would be stepping back into his role. Fans of the original I Know What You Did Last Summer. Films have been buzzing with excitement over this announcement, and it looks like their dreams are finally coming true, but the surprises don't stop there. It's been widely reported that Jennifer Love Hewitt, who played the unforgettable Julie James in the original 1997 movie, is also in talks to return. While her role is not yet set in stone, and negotiations are still ongoing, fans are holding their breath, hoping to see the original dynamic duo reunited on screen. The thought of Freddie and Jennifer reprising their roles, and once again going head-to-head -head with a mysterious, relentless killer, is almost too much for fans of the franchise to handle. In fact, it's hard to overstate just how impactful the I Know What You Did Last Summer series was on the teen horror genre. Released in 1997, the original film followed in the footsteps of the Scream franchise, tapping into a cultural moment where slasher flicks were making a major comeback. The film's storyline a group of teens trying to hide a deadly accident, only to find themselves stalked by a vengeful killer became an instant hit. Not only did it terrify audiences, but it also became a symbol of the teen horror craze, launching the careers of its young stars, including Freddie and Jennifer. The success of the first movie led to a sequel, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, which was released in 1998. While it wasn't as critically lauded as its predecessor, it still managed to cement itself as a cult classic and maintain the interest of fans. Now, over two decades later, fans are eagerly anticipating what this next chapter will bring to the table. One thing that has been confirmed is that Jennifer Caton Robinson, the talented director behind hit films like Someone Great and co-writer of Thor Love and Thunder, will be at the helm of this new project. Robinson has already hinted that the plot for the new movie will be influenced by the events of I Still Know What You Did Last Summer 1998, suggesting that this sequel will pick up where the second film left off. However, fans need not worry about the direction of the franchise getting muddied by the lesser-known third installment, I'll Always Know What You Did Last Summer 2006, which was released straight to video and failed to resonate with audiences. Robinson has made it clear that the 2006 film will not have any bearing on the upcoming storyline. Instead, the new movie aims to recapture the magic, tension, and thrills that made the first two films so popular. Of course, with any major revival like this, there are still plenty of unknowns. What will the plot be? How will the story evolve after all these years? Will new characters be introduced? Or will we see familiar faces from the original films returning to face off against the elusive killer once again? While the script is still in development and casting is ongoing, one thing is certain this new addition to the I Know What You Did Last Summer. Franchise has all the ingredients to become a hit with both longtime fans and newcomers alike. Although the film's release date is still a bit far off, with reports suggesting a July 2025 premiere, the countdown has officially begun. Fans are already marking their calendars and preparing for what is sure to be a thrilling, suspenseful ride down memory lane. It's been a long time coming, but Freddie Prinze Jr.'s return to the screen is set to be nothing short of spectacular. And with the possibility of Jennifer Love Hewitt joining the cast, there's a lot to look forward to.
So while we all wait patiently for more news and updates, now is the perfect time to revisit the original films and immerse ourselves once more in the nail-biting world of I Know What You Did Last Summer. With a rich legacy behind it and a new chapter on the horizon, this revival is shaping up to be one of the most highly anticipated releases in recent years. Let the speculation begin, and let's all keep our fingers crossed that this thrilling franchise will once again deliver the scares, suspense, and star power that made it a cultural phenomenon in the first place. Trigged.